All right, let's watch it. Uh, World of Warcraft documentary. Oh, good. Mini documentary. What the hell is this? The good days. The best days. Okay, here we go. How many hours a week I play World of Warcraft depends on my schedule. Like, okay, if, if I'm really sense. busy, then I'll play. I don't know. I'll still fit it in as much as I can. True. And at the highest, maybe I don't know, forty-eight hours a week. I would probably estimate forty-eight hours a week. That's nothing. That's nothing. Forty-eight hours a week. I play. Two, I I can play two games. Forty-eight hours a week. Mate, I play about uh, like an hour and a half a day, so like what bullshit is this? An hour and a half a day? Oh my god. And he's playing on a fucking laptop? This is a joke? Yeah. What is that? Ten? Well if Adam goes home for the weekend, then I'll probably play uh <laughs> 40, not forty hours. Um probably Maybe 20 in a week? Usually on a week where I don't have much homework or anything, or any midterms, it's probably like four to six hours a day. Okay. I, I get... All right. I'm a really big addict on the game, I think. Uh, that That's pretty good. Like, that's four to six hours a day. All right. That, that's... That, that... The thing is, like, he's got other things that he's got going on, and so, like, he can't play all day. This is a reasonable amount of time. I don't spend all my time, like, during midterms, I didn't play yeah. very much, maybe an hour a day at the most. Yeah, yeah, he's busy. But, uh, Probably. yeah, weekends, it's also a big consumption time, too. The consumption, On average, big consumption time. I play about maybe two hours on a weekday, but weekends I'll sometimes play a lot more. How much so more? Is that, like, 10, maybe? That's good. 12 to 16 hours a week, I guess. Yeah, so probably too. Bro, I remember, like, so every other weekend, I wouldn't go to my dad's house. And I would have one day every other week where I would wake up in the morning. And I remember I would get a Gatorade. And I would take a sip out of it and then put a couple of ice cubes in the Gatorade. And I would sit down at my desk at, like, 10 a.m. in the morning. And I would not leave that fucking desk until midnight it was the greatest fucking time of my life and like i wouldn't let my friends come over i was like i wouldn't let my mom make me do anything i said this is my day this is my day and i'm going to take advantage of it as much as i possibly can and hours over the weekend plus another 20 so probably 30. decent enough uh, I've met people online, and that's, I guess that's pretty cool, and we talk in our guild and everything, but I mean, I don't think my social life has really dried up in real life either, because I didn't really have much of one to begin with. Yeah. I mean, me and my girlfriend are still pretty good, so I guess nothing's going down or anything. For now. And, um, yeah, so I, I had this same problem. Because my mom would come in, and she'd be like, Zach, you've got to go to bed. It's late. You Can you pause the game and do something? I said, Mom, I can't pause it. I can't pause the game. It, it doesn't work that way. She said, what do you mean you can't pause the game? I'm like, listen, you want me to show you? Here, here, come here. Come, here. come, play, my, come play my character. Make your own character. And I was like, I'm going to get her into the game. And then instead of telling me to go to bed for a raid, she'll ask me if I have a spot. It actually worked. It, it, it legitimately worked. Like, she got her own account, and she started playing more than me. Like, I, I got her into it. I got Cody and Jeff into it. Zach was into it. Everybody in our friend group was playing WoW. Like, Eric was playing. Like, it was we were popping the fuck off, man. It's been about the same. I don't know. Uh, every once in a while, I'll blow my friends off to play World of Warcraft. I did that about once a day. The majority of my friends play, so we usually yeah. play together. So yeah. I'm not really losing any 
ties with anyone. Exactly. You know, I, I actually... we, we bring our computers over. Like I had one of these computers, like I would, um, so this is what it would be is like, I would have to carry the computer over. I would carry the monitor. Cody would carry the PC and Jeff was so fucking lazy. He'd only carry the cords and the keyboard and he'd be dragging those on the fucking pavement. But he'd be so fucking noisy. Yeah, that's when we do that every weekend. Improved because, you know, we always, every time my friends come over and we have their laptops yeah. and we have little, little lands and we play more. Fine. Okay. It's normal. The same. same. About, I, I don't know. It's not that bad because it's like I know everybody that I'm playing with usually. And yeah. so it's just like chilling out with friends from back home that I never see. No, I've not. I have not made any online friends, unfortunately. Uh, you can team with people, and so when I team with people, you know, if you get to know them and you see them around the yeah. game world, you play again, and you eventually kind of learn to just talk to new people. Wow. Um, I get to talk to people that I wouldn't otherwise. Like, I've met some okay people playing World of Warcraft, and there's friends from back home that I rarely see that play on there, too. That's nice. And I still find time to do stuff in real life, so it hasn't really been affected. Yeah, I used to have that happen. Like, I would, I, I made a lot of friends in WoW. I remember whenever I first started playing the game, I was playing with this one, uh, this one person, and they were playing a girl character. I asked if they were a girl in real life, and they put a smiley face, and I added them to my friends list, and they never logged on again. So, like, nothing ever really came of it. But uh, yeah, that that definitely happened. And uh, sure, yeah, yeah, exactly. It, well, no, we had uh, there's. I told you guys right about this 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 girl Aileen in, in my guild. She would be like fucking cybering with like it's just the old term for sexting, like four or five guys at a time. Like I don't know what her WPM was, but it was fucking probably like 140 or something. It was insane. Like I'm like this girl was like, I I'm telling you, it was like an old god with like their tendrils around everybody in the guild. The 15 month charge right now probably wouldn't be worth it because. Um, our server that we play on crashes all the time, and it's clear that it <laughs> hasn't fixed all the bugs in it. So right now, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have paid 15 I love to see something that's like, what, 15 years old? And then it's like, yeah, some things never change. But probably in a few months or in a few weeks, it's going to get a lot better. So they then it'd be worth it now. But right now, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at first, when I started playing, I couldn't justify the $15 monthly fee, but then Ooh. I thought about... Like Surely. a movie, six fifty or something like that, and the number of hours of entertainment I get out of World of Warcraft more than pays makes the fifteen dollars fee worth it. Oh, absolutely! And um, wow, was fifteen dollars a month was a lot of money back then. Like I, and also like there wasn't as much of a uh, of an expectation of it. Like spending money on games, it was a lot of fuck. Fifteen fucking dollars is a lot of fucking money. And, and like back in 2006, oh my god. When you compare you to like to buy the game other too? things yeah. you would have to do, it's not that much for a month. Like, as long as you're playing it, otherwise then I guess like it wouldn't be worth it. Like me not having my own account wouldn't be worth to pay Adam, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so they share an account. Most people do that. Or yeah, so I think that. it's worth the extra money. They've got, uh, Blizzard pays people to go around in-game and, um, they're constantly updating and stuff like that, so it's definitely worth it because they're constantly uh, adding uh, new material. Well, the way I think about uh, it, you know, is that breaks down to fifty cents a day. I mean, yep. that's like one third the cost people pay for their Starbucks coffee every morning or whatever. And that's how you know this was from a long time ago. Is that a Starbucks coffee back then was a dollar fifty? Like it was a dot. Like this guy's saying it's a dollar fifty. Like that, that bro. Like how much is that shit now? It's like eight. Bu it's like eight fucking bucks. Yeah, that that's the real inflation right there. Good one, soil. Yeah. It's entertainment. So it's worth it to me. Technically, it's only fourteen bucks a month for me because I paid for two months. Um, and Dude, that's a smart guy. I mean, I guess it is. I worked my first term. And lost a couple hours, or lost probably an hour a day of playing. So I that mean, sucks. Did you? Quit? I guess it kind of makes me feel better that I worked the first term. But so I yeah, guess yeah, it's quit, bro. Kind of worth it. I mean, I don't mind when I 
end up getting tired of playing it, I'll probably be regretting that I paid 14 bucks a month or however much I paid. There's a lot of people that say that. It doesn't really interfere with my homework at all, really. I have I have time to play, then I have homework time. What are you laughing about? It's true. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> no. Yeah, so I never did homework. I never did. In high school, I, I, I never did homework. I simply refused to do homework. I, I told myself, I'm like, listen, if there's homework, I'm not going to do it. And uh, that's all there is to it. There was a, a massive assignment. I lost 20% of my whole grade for the entire class uh, because I didn't do this assignment. The second that I heard that you had to actually do work outside of the class for it, I wrote, I wrote that bitch off. I said, nope, I can get an 80. Best I can do is an 80. Dad's going to be pissed off about this one, but it is what it is. You, you know what I mean? I barely had any homework. Oh, yeah, we hardly had anything. But like, why would I want to go home and go? Why would I want to go home and do work at school? Why would I want to do work at school if I could play video games instead of that? Like, why? Why would I ever want to do? It? Like, what's what? Does that make any sense? Of course not. Well, because I don't, I can't play it on my own computer. So then I'd have to be like in here. So not that I'm not. Okay, I have in here a lot. But yeah. I think it'll be okay, because it's not like I have a lot of homework for my classes. I just have to study before I have tests and go to class and stuff. I never studied. I think they have from World of Warcraft, just because I'll blow off class or I'll, I'll be like, well, I can rush to this project to play more, but I'll do that Yeah, Yeah, well, I did the same thing, except for I didn't rush to the project. I'd ignore it. And um, also, like, sometimes I'd have, like, a book, right? And like, I'm gonna use this book as an example. I would have a book whenever I was in college. I would put it right here next to my uh, next to my keyboard, like right behind it. And during the wipes, I would study. But if if the if if the the fight was happening again, I'd just go back to the game, right? And, and like that was it. And so like I would do that for like maybe a couple of a uh, couple of hours, and I'd be done. Things too, like hanging out with friends or watching a movie or something. Not really. My grades have stayed pretty much the same. Um, I usually cut out social time before I cut out grade time when I'm prioritizing, oh, bad call. prioritizing WoW over, bad call. over stuff I should be doing. Last term, before I even had any, before I was in beta testing, in chemistry I got a 55 on my first midterm. My man. I mean, with World of Warcraft, I just got an 80. So, I mean. So, WoW makes you smarter. I just got to realize that. When that midterm came around, I didn't play at all. I was just studying. I, mean, I use it now as just if I have spare time and don't have homework, then I'll play. Or if I come back from like a crappy day class, I'll just sit back. Probably level the alchemy. Play. Yeah, true. Or when I came back from that midterm, I played for five hours straight because I was just so fried from reading my books and notes and stuff. Yeah, bro. Like, I mean, fuck that. Just play the game. Like, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, fuck, dude. Like, it's too stra stressed out, man. Like, who gives a shit about that? Just have some fun. It kind of helps you just... We were, I was joking with a friend. It rejuvenates the mind to just sit there and exactly. do video games after you've been studying. Um, Makes them smarter. I don't think my grades have really suffered. Um, I've kind of been distracted on some homework. I, I'm gonna admit that. Yeah, yeah, of course. On at least one homework assignment, that was pretty big. But other than that, I think I just have to get in control of myself, and I think I've gotten better at it so far. What their friends think? This is gonna be probably something completely what different. What do I think about World of Warcraft? Um, I think it's an interesting game. I, I, I might play it if it was free, but. There's a lot of people that, that said that. It's just like any other massively multiplayer game, and I doubt I would pay money to play it. For myself, the biggest reason I don't play it is because I would. That guy plays not Lost Ark now. I would spends a thousand dollars a month, and I would not talk to anybody. My fiance might dump me. Um, it would just devour me and spit me out a naked man on the street in an alley makes sense like all my games are free they're all way more fun than world of warcraft i'm not going to touch world of warcraft because i don't want to get reamed in the ass every damn month well that guy 
you know for a fact his favorite game is Half-Life. You know, you know for a fucking fact. Like, he is, like, that is 100% a Half-Life Andy. Like, this guy, like, he's talking about, like, yeah, 100%. He, the, like, I could see these people I know from a mile away. That's what, yeah, or TF2? Yes, or TF2. I, I see them less, so their interaction with real people, um, the amount of time they do that decreases. JJ never goes to class, so he pretty much doesn't talk to anybody. Good. Well, I know Matt is up to um, almost a month on his playtime. 23 days as of yesterday. My man. I know that Matt's girlfriend broke up with him or for a couple days because of the game. I hardly see him anymore. I hardly see Mike either. Um, Matt right now is a scareboard. Okay. Meanwhile, while these these two guys are just losers working a, a software engineering job, Matt is a scareboard. They're basically confined to the room for as long as they play the game. Yeah, of course. I mean, until they quit, I, they're never going to see sunlight. Smart. Adam is quit playing Warcraft due to the monthly fees. He turns down. It's too wild. Alex is still playing WoW, but not as much. Mike has sold his WoW account and character on eBay for $150. Hey, my man. JJ did not come back spring term due to academic probation. Okay, so he's still playing the game. <laughs> Yeah, who cares about the girl, guys? Yeah. Matt has played a total of 47 days within WoW. My man. Oh, my God. Yeah, very, very fucking funny. Yeah, only 47? Well, this is whenever the game first came out, okay? This was in 2006. I, I hadn't even, like, whenever this came out, I hadn't even started playing the game. Uh, I didn't play the game until, like, uh, July of 2006. So this happened, you had over 1,000 days? Yeah, but that was uh, that was back then. Uh, like, yeah, back then, like, having 100 days was fucking insane. Like, nobody had 100 days. And this is the, uh, this is the video that people want me to see. And uh, I'll link this one for you guys if anybody wants some, uh, some good nostalgia, okay? Read the description. I made this video uh, four months after WoW was release because I saw how some of my friends were affected by it. Of course, it's a bit biased. It's a documentary. So that means that out of four in four months, the guy had put 47 days slash played into the game. Well, that's pretty good. That's about eight hours a day. Yeah, that's about eight hours every single day. That's not too bad. Yeah, that I would say that's an epic gamer moment. Absolutely.